Hello, everybody. This is Sergey Epic here, and welcome to the long way to the. Well, this really should have happened a long time ago, is what I'm saying. Nobody really was awaiting this, but this is a video that was supposed to happen a long time ago because I had these before. I had this before last Christmas. In fact, well, let me just say the intro first. Welcome to Funko Spotlight number 14, and you can already see which Funko I'm going to be reviewing today. Um, well. This should have happened a long time ago. I've had this and two other Funkos that I have yet to show you guys since be since Christmas, um, or since right before Christmas, I, right before or since Christmas, I forget exactly now. I think it was before Christmas I had these. It right before at Christmas, or actually it might have been right after Christmas that I got these. Um, but either way, I've had uh. I have 16 Funkos in total. I haven't got any new ones like this year at all, basically, uh, since when I got the last ones, um, when I went on a friggin' Funko spree. Um, but I do have three more to show you guys, so right now this series will go up to 16, but this is number 14. But I, w I, do, tend I do intend to get more Funkos. What, knowing my luck, if I won't get any, maybe I'll get a few to for like Christmas. Well, my birthday is coming up soon, so I might pick up a one or two just to kind of like build the collection a little. Because I am a collectionist. A collectionist, yeah, sure. Uh, but anyway, we're going to get into the Funko a bit. We're just going to go over the box here. Um, I'm trying to do this uh, a little bit more. No, I don't want to say professionally, but I try not to make as many mistakes as I do in a lot of my videos, and since I have no equipment to edit my videos as of right now, I can't make major mistakes, or else I'm going to have to, like, restart the video, and that will suck. Um, yeah, because I do not have a laptop as of right now, but I will soon, uh, because actually, uh, we get school laptops, so, uh, and school is starting up again as soon for me, it hasn't started up yet, it's September 2nd, by the way, it is a Friday, uh, afternoon, actually, because it's like 4 or something, I think, yeah, in my time, it's 4 or something, um, I might also record the other two Funko Spotlights I have yet to make, uh, while I'm at it, I just felt like, I felt ob obligated, and I felt like I should give you guys a video today, and I really did feel like recording. I, I always kind of feel like recording lately, but it's just a matter. I don't really know what to record because I already did a comic call. I haven't read any of those comics yet, so I can't do the ranked episode for them. But, uh, yeah, well, I'm just going to get into the actual review now. But as you can see, the Funko figure, Funko figure we're going to be looking at today is the Hawk from Avengers Age of Ultron. Oh, I got a Hawk Funko. That's so cool. Hawk is... I remember when Hawk used to be, like, my favorite superhero or one of my favorites. Like, I've always liked Spider-Man. I remember, like, because of Justice League show, Green Lantern used to be, like, my favorite Justice League member for some reason. And now I, like, don't care at all. Um, he was one of them, at least. Like, I've always liked Batman, too, I guess, because I used to watch uh, some of the Batman shows when I was little. Um, and then I also remember, like, um, friggin'... Yeah, I remember the Hulk was, like, one of my favorites. Uh, now he's, like, I know so many characters now that he's not, like, he's probably not even in my top ten, but whatever. Anyway, here's a side profile, a little picture uh, for uh, you guys of the Hulk here. The nice green, the Hulk green. Here's, well, here's the actual side profile. Uh, there's a little bit of glare, I'm sorry. I, had to, I actually had to switch my uh, positioning for this recording so there wouldn't be glare because you could see me in the glare before. But anyway, we're going to look at the figures on the bat, the rest of the figures in this series of this line of Avengers Age of Ultron. Actually, there's two other ones. There's uh, Scarlet Witch and Black Widow. I guess they're newer ones that have been put out by Funko for this line, but they're not on the back of here because I s actually saw them. Uh, I I went uh, I went like an hour, a bit over an hour out to a huge mall uh, that's semi-close by. Uh, it's a really popular mall, and I saw those there, and I'd never seen those before, and I actually really wanted to get the Black Widow one, but I didn't have, uh, I didn't have the money to spare, so I didn't get it. Um, anyway, the figures in this set, the rest of them, Iron Man Mark 43, I have yet to get Iron Man, uh, Captain America, I have yet to get Captain America, Hulk, which is the figure we're looking at today, Four, who I have, Hawkeye, who I have, Vision, I do not have yet. 
Ultron I do not have yet, and Hawkbuster I do not have yet. But I do have Ford Hawkeye, like I said. So this is the last figure of the Age of Ultron. This last Funko Age of Ultron. Uh, Funko from the Age of Ultron series that I have. Uh, I have four Hawkeye and now Hawk. And I have friggin'. I have seven more to get, I'm pretty sure. Because, yeah, add on Black Widow and Scarlet Witch. So, yeah. Uh, any, I, I am trying to, gonna try to finish this set at some point. And I have seen Captain America and Iron Man. I just haven't had a chance to pick them up. I think I've actually seen, like, everybody but Hulkbuster, maybe. I might have even seen Hulkbuster. No, I don't think I've seen Hulkbuster. But I think I've seen everybody else. Mm, Ultron or Vision, I feel like one of those two I haven't seen yet. But, mm, I forget. Maybe, uh, I don't know. Maybe I have seen both of them. Um, but anyway, we're going to open this up, which, by the way, this is my first time opening this up. Actually, same with all three of these Funko Spotlights you've yet seen. I have not opened any of them up, because I was waiting to do them on video, and then I just never got around to it. But now, now I'm going to open this up for the first time, finally. This is probably the longest Funko Spotlight ever, because I have been talking. Like, God. RJ, just open the goddamn package, please. I'm sorry, guys. And, oh, whoops. Am I going to get this video uh, friggin' like flagged or something because I say goddamn because uh, it's not advertised friendly. Ha, luckily, my content's not monetized anyway. Oh, sorry. That's just a little um, YouTube uh, new friggin' advertiser friendly shit. A uh, little shit talks us rant going on. I mean, doesn't matter anyway. Whatever. I'm not doing any harm. I'm just like a guy with like 12 subscribers. Um, anyway, here's the Hulk figure out of the package. Oh god, this is a cool Funko. This is actually maybe one of my favorites. I love this. Um, we got the specific Age of Ultron short, the specific shorts that the Hawks were in in the age, in age of Ultron, purple with little red lines. Uh, I love the detail on these Funko figures. The hair feels kind of really cool because um, it sticks out compared to the rest of the Funko. Uh, it's it's Mark Mark Ruffalo hair. Uh, yeah, uh, we got the, uh, classic green skin, green tint of the Hulk, and not the stupid green that, that was in Lego Marvel Avengers for, uh, his Age of Ultron version, and like all the Marvel, uh, Funkos, he's a bobblehead, which I love the bobblehead ones, uh, that's why, like, some of the other, some of the ones I have are kind of disappointing. Like, I have uh, Harley Quinn and Poison Ivy, they're not, bob they're not bobbleheads. And, like, the wrestling ones aren't bobbleheads, which I think they should be, but, yeah. Anyway, yes, this figure looks, looks exactly like the Hulk did in AJ Ultron. Uh, this is really cool. This might be one of my favorites, legit, um, that I have. The, actually, the two I have left to show you are probably my two favorite. If I'm being honest, or two, definitely two of my favorite. I have 16, and they're definitely top five. That De they're probably my top two, uh, cause it's from one of my favorite MCU. They're from one of my favorite MCU movies, and it's actually the only two in the set. So that should tell you right there who they are. If you know anything about Funkos in the MCU, so yeah. Uh, to my knowledge, they're the only two in the set. At least they were at the time of their releases. So yeah. But anyway, guys, if you enjoyed this video, please leave a like, subscribe, comment, and even share if you want to. Check out my Twitter, RJEpicGaming, at RJEpic1. And stay tuned for two more re Funko reviews just like this. Two more Funko, excuse me, two more Funko spotlights. Jeez, how unprofessional. Sorry, I had to burp. I'm sorry, Jesus. Um, anyway, guys, have a fucking fantastic day. I'm sorry for, I swear, for you, uh for the people with virgin ears out there, but I kind of felt like I had to just uh, be a bit rebellious against new to uh, YouTube's... YouTube's? What the fuck is YouTube? New to YouTube's new rules, but my content is not monetized as of right now because there'd be no point to that. So it's not monetized, but if it was the, uh, and anybody actually paid attention to my videos, then there'd be a chance that this video would probably be unmonetized. I might I might make a video about the new YouTube rules or not they're not really new but like just uh, I don't know you guys should know what's been going on the past few days with YouTube uh, if you watch YouTube whatsoever because it's been going all around people have been going crazy shitting bricks um, this has probably been the most I swear uh, I've sworn in a video of mine so uh, I'm not even really angry it's just kind of like I'm just poking fun and kind of making fun of the situation. I kind of do that, like, 
I'm I'm a really if you get to know me and if you know me whatsoever, you know I'm very sarcastic and as some people say I have a dry sense of humor. Um but um yeah. I said humor weird. Humor humor weird. Um but I did that on purpose the first time, but the second time I didn't. Um anyway guys, yet another outro that's been weird. I'm so I'm so fucking sorry. Not really. Sorry, not sorry. I actually think some of the best parts <laughs> of my videos sometimes are my outros because I fuck them up so bad. And I'm sorry for saying the F word so many times. But you also notice when I say it, I kind of censor myself or I, I, I quiet myself. Like, actually, a lot of times when I do swear, like in real life, like not on video, like a lot of times when I do swear, I censor myself. I'll be like, and like stuff like that. I almost said shit like that. And stuff like that. Um. But I uh, hope nobody takes offense to any of my swearing. It's not a big deal. As long as you don't, like, throw it around when it's not necessary or, like, too much. I don't think swearing's a bad thing. Like, if you really have no purpose behind it, or, I mean, I don't know. I mean, you can say what you want as long as it's not, like, offensive. Like, that's my belief, I guess. Uh, Anyway, guys, I'm so sorry for ranting, and I think I will make two more of these videos. If, um, for some reason, the next two videos you, you see, which will be Funko Spotlights, I'm kind of talking about the same stuff. Just remember, I record these in the same day in a row, so I might talk about the YouTube stuff a little more in the next two videos. I don't know. We'll see. Um, instead of making a full video about it, I might just, like, talk just or poke fun at the situation in these videos but anyway guys for the third time do what i uh, if you want to do all that stuff i said before like subscribe uh, comment and even share if you want to check my twitter and add notifications to um see when a new video comes out if you miss it through youtube then you, if you're notified on twitter you should see me link the, my youtube videos to my twitter page so yes anyway i'll see you all later in the next funko next two funko spotlights and anyway peace out